Okay, I'm back with another survival video. Here, how to survive in the Canadian summertime. Oh boy. Now water, it's one of the uh, of our number one resources that we need to protect. And I'm gonna do a water ball flip. And look, I'm also here joined by my fellow comrade, Jacob. Welcome. Now watch this. This is what you need to do to survive. Damn it. Oh. Oh, Jacob, we need to find some shelter for the night. We need to find civilization. Let's go. It appears that the the creatures of this area left these 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 uh these sewings. Maybe these are a nest. What do you think these are, Jacob? Jacob? Yeah. What do you think these are? What are those? What do you think they are? No, my honest answer or funny answer? I, I want you to tell the audience members of what, how to survive and what to do when you see this in the wild. I got nothing. I should have never hired you. <laughs> okay, Jacob, I want you to jump on top of the thing. Tell me if it's safe. Jacob, Jacob, jump on the thing. Are you, where are you? Wait, oh, oh, there you are. Oh, God. This is how you land it off of it. Choke, 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 choke. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was, that was intense. That was easy. Well, we've been out here for a couple days. This has been more intense than the winter time surviving in Canada. Some people think the winter is worse in Canada, but it's actually not. It's actually way more safer because you become adapted with the abilities around you, the, the surroundings. But in the, in the Canadian summertime, there are wild beasts everywhere. And me and my colleague, Jacob, what, what do you see, Jake? Is that what you think? Oh my God. You see it? I see it. Let's get closer. Let's go, okay. yeah. All right. We, we saw it in it. It appears to be a tractor. Those are dangerous animals over there. I don't know if you can see it. But yes, the tractor. We decided not to go near the tractors. The tractors are a very deadly animal. And my, my colleague here, Jacob, will show me through the wild bush. Now, Jacob, we need to find a place to set up camp for the night. Where do you think we should set up camp? Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this. Food. This will keep us down. This will feed us for the night. You want to get some? Hmm. Wow. That was totally you eating it. You see something over there? What is it? Is it another tractor? I see a building. Oh boy. We're in hunting ground. The most deadliest creature of all. Is us. Okay, I think it's I think it's day two. Maybe day three. We slept there for the night. Jacob is trying to make a, a signal to get some help. Maybe we should find some civilization, you know, some water's like a, falling through the sky. Oh my god. It's everywhere. You don't even understand, bro. Oh boy. So we're gonna try to find survival, we're gonna try to find a civilization, maybe, till we can get back home. There's a plane? Plane! It's a plane! It's a plane! It's a plane! Oh, damn it. It's Air Canada, they're not gonna save us. Yes, drink, drink it. Yes. Yes, hydration. That's that fills up the soul. I gotta tame the beasts. Okay, now. What the hell? Who is that? That's Mother Nature telling us this is not our home. We must adapt to the surroundings. Come in here closer, cameraman. I tell you, we may have to kill tonight to get our feeding. We may have to do something. Dangerous. That, that's not a word. But there's one thing I've learned in my whole life of 
surviving in the Canadian wilderness is life finds a way. <sighs> Me and Jacob have been traveling. He's up ahead. But I think we found... We found survival. We found civilization. Look. We're home. We found... We found people. Let's go in in there and check, see if they're friendly. It appears that we have landed here and they have some sort of water source. Jacob, what do you think this thing is used for? Maybe for cleaning? Maybe it's a bath? I don't know, but it's definitely not safe for human waters. You'll grow an arm in that thing. <laughs> My God. Let's go see if we can find some survivals in this household. Wow, these creatures are very, very delicate today. They very, they put a well, a good organized place. It's like a, it's like a village. These are probably where the village people are. <gasps> oh my God. It's the village, Chloe. <gasps> oh my God. Wow, are they friendly, Jacob? I don't think so. Well, let's get out of here. It appears that I have found some automobiles, some vehicles. This could help us. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna use that car at the end. It looks like the most We've made it into this vehicle. We found in the wild. It looks like we can finally go back home. All right, Jake. Yep. Yes. Now, the main important message of this video is that art is survival. We need to teach you kids out there how to survive. This is a message from Draven and my new colleague, Jacob. We're experts. Don't try this at home. Or, well, I guess I guess if, you're, if it's a survival video, you're gonna need this. So maybe do try it at home. No. Well, don't 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 do it on purpose. This is more just an, like an emergency. Yeah. Okay. Well. Educational. Uh, educational. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, uh, this is it. We're gonna go to. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen, maybe. Get some blizzards. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, yeah. That's Hopefully they accept that hay. Nah, nah, I think they will. I think they accept hay. Yeah. I mean, if they're going to put my ice cream, my blizzard upside down, and then give it to me, yeah. they better accept that. All right. Anyways. Survive. That's the tip of the day.